Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Memphis Grizzlies is the hottest team in December. Can you describe it? Warrant, the best player of the Grizzlies is on the injured list when they recorded nine wins and ten losses. Grizzlies has a ton of young talented players. They showed decent defense but their defensive rating was ranked worst in the league before missing their ace. Did they sense the risk from the injury? Grizzlies became an absolutely different team without Morin. They kept their offensive rating and enhanced their defensive rating. Hearing the absence of the ace point guard, the Grizzlies is the strongest defensive team. They showed a crazy level of hustle seen in enhanced arts of offensive rebounds, steals and blocks. In the game against the Lakers, the Grizzlies lost their top back at a defender, Dylan Brooks from the COVID protocol. The team defense by the Grizzlies in this game is the must-watch highlight for the basketball fans. Has the team strong or without the best player of the team for two weeks? Above all, we cannot avoid the fact that the team defense is much better without Moran. We can do an off-impact stat such as estimated plus-minus, Raptor, and player rating display Moran may be the worst defender of the team. Secondly, other talented players of the team, Joran Jackson Jr. and Desmond Bain, have stepped up with a higher usage rate in Moran's absence. When Moran returns the team shouldn't go back to the previous team. Warren can join the newly upgraded team by admitting he's the weak point of the team defense. He should play harder in the defense. He should use his excellent athletic ability to defend with hustle like his other teammates. And he should use his teammates more in the offense as well. Warren showed he is an unselfish player. He can be a better player with his stepped up teammates. The future is bright for the Grizzlies and Warren. Thank you for watching. Please, 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 please.